What's up, Sonic fans? We're in day two of E3, and we have some Sonic the Hedgehog news. Nothing pertaining to Sonic Rangers or Sonic 2022. Instead, we're wetting our appetites with more of Sonic Colors Ultimate, which appears to be treated as the Sonic game of 2020. So that's probably why we're not seeing anything for 2022 Sonic game. I'm a little bit nervous about the fact we haven't seen any gameplay for that yet, but I guess that they're just, you know, spreading things out a little bit. Having Sonic Colors take up the majority of 2021, and then 2022 will be getting way more pertaining to Sonic 2022. Luckily for us, we get to see a bit more of what Sonic Colors Ultimate is shaping up to be, as we get two complete playthroughs of two levels. Planet Wisp courtesy of Game Informer, and Asteroid Coaster courtesy of IGN. And I gotta be said, I'm just impressed that IGN managed to make it through this level without throwing themselves into a pit of green lava. So the first immediate change is the presentation. It looks gorgeous now. It's more colorful, it's more clean looking. Everything feels that bit more atmospheric. I've seen some people complaining about the bloom, but honestly, I think it looks great here. The lighting and everything looks so much better than it did in the announcement trailer. Yeah, I'm very much sold on the visuals here. This looks like they've really brought Sonic Colors up to speed with modern consoles. I mean, at the same time, I don't think it looks quite, you know, at PS5, Xbox Series X tier graphics. It still looks like a remaster of an older game, but it looks like they've done the best they could with it. And uh, it is a big step up from how it originally looked on the Wii, even just if you factor in the fact that, like, you know, they're they've upscaled everything to 4k alone yeah it already looks better than the wii version but then like take into account everything they've added just to make this look all that much better yeah it's it's a nice looking game i think like if say you were living under a rock and you didn't know sonic colors existed and you were like hey this is this is the new sonic game i don't think you'd be scratching your head saying god these graphics look backwards you know like nah that it, it looks good also falling under presentation though is the music and i wasn't expecting this or taking it for granted but they have remixed the music as we can hear much more clearly in ign's gameplay that asteroid coaster has a much cleaner and more percussive remix to it you can't hear much of planet wisp as you got two dudes talking over it but like Still, you can tell that it's a little bit different. I'm surprised that they did this because the music was already amazing in Sonic Colors. Like, one thing everyone has sung the praises of is Sonic music, and Sonic Colors is no exception. But the, the fact is they've just cleaned it up a little bit, and it just sounds a little bit better. I am interested as to whether or not they're going to do, like, the Spyro Reignited thing where they offer you a choice of soundtracks, but... Honestly, like, I, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this change. It sounds great. It doesn't sound like they've lost any of what made it great before. Very solid. Now, I will say this. I'm a little surprised they didn't take the opportunity to show us how the tail save system works, especially given that in Game Informer's Planet Wisp gameplay, they have the tail saves ready to use. I would have loved to have seen this in action, but hey, whatever. We can still see Tails' face in the top left corner there. Uh, and we know what it does, I just would really like to see it actually happen in front of our eyes. As I've said before, I for one am in support of the tail save function as opposed to the live system, because I do think Sonic Colors has quite a problem with bottomless pits otherwise, and I don't really factor that into the challenges. I had someone say, oh, but it is a challenge, just don't throw yourself into the bottomless pit and it's perfectly avoidable, but here's the thing, is like a bottomless pit isn't exactly an imaginative way to die, it's just like, don't bother building any level geometry at the bottom of the stage. There's nothing really nuanced or clever about that, and old Sonic games did a really good job of avoiding it for the most part. Sonic Colors not so much, but I'm glad they've remedied that with the tail save system. It doesn't fix it, but it does remedy it. One noteworthy thing is the new homing attack. Yeah, they've, they've added something new to the homing attack now. So, uh, Sonic games, homing attack is one of just the staple of a 3D Sonic game. Now they've added a new feature where if you hit the homing attack at just the right time, you're rewarded with some new boost energy, and as well as that, you get a special rainbow effect on your homing attack and a new sound effect. Just to let you know that you've done it right, and this involves waiting for a green homing attack reticle to appear. That's a cool new feature! It definitely adds a new layer to the homing attack functionality, and I'll be interested to, you know, see how that affects your score at the end of the level. There also appear to be sun medals all throughout this level, and that's giving me Nam flashbacks. I don't know what they're gonna be for, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm interested to see. Clearly they're not the red rings because that's another thing entirely. I wouldn't think they'd put backtracking in Sonic Colors for level progression. 
Surely not. So, yeah, I'm interested to know what the red rings are. They make the same sound effect as the one up, so it's, it's, yeah, I don't know what that is. Perhaps it's like you get a certain amount of them and then you get a new tail save. I, I don't know, but we didn't really see that in action here. So, yeah, I am excited for Sonic Colors Ultimate. This new gameplay looks really cool. I think there's a lot of improvements going on here. I like what they've done with the homing attack. I like the new visuals and sounds. Um... And uh, the gameplay, yeah, it, it gets me psyched. Obviously, it's not going to fix everything that I had issues with in this game. I don't think there's really going to be many changes to the level design. It looks like there's still a lot of 2D in there, especially in Planet Wisp. I didn't expect them to change that, and I sure as hell don't expect them to change it now. So no, I'm not saying that this is going to be the perfect Sonic game or my most anticipated Sonic game ever, but I do think they did a smart thing here, as... As they said in the Game Informer footage, Sonic Colors is one of the more beloved 3D Sonic games, and uh, it's kind of odd to have, like, it just be an exclusive to one console, as those that didn't have a Wii now have, like, a giant gaping hole in their Sonic collection. Like, a big part of Sonic's history has been inaccessible for a variety of consoles. Now, it's everywhere for everyone. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of people that missed out on that Sonic Colors experience in the past now get the chance to enjoy it now. So I think it's a smart move. I'm also planning a video on how a Sonic Unleashed remaster could work. I don't expect that ever to happen, but I would love it if it did. Um, so yeah, be sure to stick around and watch this space on this channel because that's coming soon. And as well as that, if we reach 69k subscribers, I will make public the Sonic Unleashed livestream replays, which is my complete playthrough of Sonic Unleashed from over the past few weeks. You will be able to rewatch them as soon as this channel reaches 69k. Other than that, the same old normal content will continue going. So that's everything for now, guys. Uh, what do you think? Comment below and discuss. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and in the description below are different links to different social media feeds, as well as a link to my Patreon for if you're feeling extra supportive and extra generous. You just want to go that extra mile. Big shout out goes to patrons in the $10 tier. That is Sirius the Skeptic, Marcus Ward, and Biotin Arts. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. As for the rest of you, thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.